All right, Jed, thank you. It is now impacting wildlife at Antelope Island in ways not seen in decades. As new specialist Mike Anderson explains, uh, it's bad enough. Biologists may do something they have never done there before. We're talking about flying in fresh water to the wilderness. Mike? Yeah, Mike, you know, uh, the biggest concern right now is for the uh, bighorn sheep. You know, they like to stay up in the, the higher elevations out here where a lot of the freshwater sources are already dried up. Right now, the beaches are huge at Antelope Island State Park, a sign of the shrinking Great Salt Lake. I've, I've never seen it this dry. Steve Bates, a wildlife biologist here for over 20 years, says that perhaps the bigger concern, at least here, are the dwindling freshwater sources. The bison will have what they need since a 100,000 gallon tank was put in for them a few years back, but he's worried more about the bighorn sheep, roughly 30 of them. The bighorn don't typically stray that low. Uh, they like to stay up a, a against security cover and that, but you know, if, if it comes to the needing water, they're going to go find water. This herd was brought here in January of 2020 and immediately used man-made guzzlers for their water, which Bates says have now dried up. That's why biologists with the state park and DWR are considering flying a fresh supply here with the helicopter, something they've never considered before. Yeah, this is something new to new to us out here, and uh, you know, uh, it, for the past 20 years, there's always been sufficient moisture here on the island to carry uh, the wildlife through. Bates says worst case, there will be enough spring water to last through the season, but he doesn't want the bighorn to forget the guzzlers as a primary source. And so. This is kind of a, a, a proactive preventative means. Of course, figuring out the best way to fly a large amount of water here is complicated and still being worked out. And it's likely still a few weeks before all of uh, before all of that happens. But Bates says that he's also concerned about the springs here because even if we have a good winter, you know, this coming winter, it still takes weeks, even months for that to show up in the springs. Back to you.